The latest single from Zayn, taken from Mind of Mine. It's called Like I Would. You're on the hit list on KMFM. Zayn and Gigi has been trending all day on Twitter because they did a couple's photo shoot, which is adorable. I mean, it's a bit gross if you don't like the soppy sort of stuff, but adorable if you have a heart. I don't, so that's fine. So at the end of last year here on KMFM, we picked four ones to watch for 2016. One of these was the London-based pop machine that is Dua Lipa, and we caught up a couple of days ago, so let's hit play on part one of that chat. KMFM. Let's go straight in. Let's talk about the new single, because it's called Last Dance. It's available to download now. The video is really, really trippy. Like, it's filmed, (laughs) for anyone who hasn't seen it, it's filmed in a forest. So basically, I want to know, do you get hay fever? Because if I filmed that, it would have been like an absolute, nightmare for me like I would have been crying the entire music video <laughs> no no hay fever but apparently I've heard that you can develop that stuff later can you so like later on in your life so like you know now I could be fine but next year who knows but how do you develop it is it something like the more time you spend in forests the more chance you've got of getting hay fever I haven't actually looked into okay, it so you I'm can the only... wrong person to ask but I have heard <laughs> so you can that only, it's a thing you can only be in a forest like every every third <laughs> music video because obviously we care about your health <laughs> <laughs> what's your most kind of because you're beginning to properly take off now what's your most sort of I can't believe this is happening moment you've had where you've kind of had to pinch yourself to check that if life is really real what's what have you had so far um, hearing my song on the radio mm. for the first time I guess every time I hear my song on the radio it's pretty weird and mm. it's pretty crazy um, I was once like in Italy doing some promo and I was just in the car on my way to, to, to some meetings and they were just like saying my name and playing my song <laughs> And that was pretty surreal. Performing live and actually seeing people sing my songs. I was in, yeah. like, in Austin, in Texas, just now, and there were people singing my songs, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> it was, it was weird. It was crazy. It's fun. I love it. Do you ever text into radio stations when it's like requests and be like, can you, can you play uh, some Dua Lipa, or do you get other people to? <laughs> no, no, I'd do that. of if course I was, not. <laughs> if I was, I would definitely do that. There's no way of being anonymous in that game. <laughs> yeah, but no, you could. Someone will from- find you out. No, but if you were no, like, I if, wouldn't. You, if you had another mate in the car and you were like, oh, quick, text him because I really want to hear that <laughs> song at the moment. No. I, I'd definitely do that. So that's probably why you're a lot better of a, of a person than me. <laughs> <laughs> Get the royalties in. Like that. <laughs> Simple text. Um, you uh-huh. were talking about Austin, uh, South by Southwest, which you were at. Um, I was doing a bit of Twitter stalking, stalking. So you've just come back from that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Still, still a bit shaky and jet lagged and making up words that don't exist because of it. Um, <laughs> But yeah. Making up words that don't exist. Maybe one of them can be the album title. Well, I mean, it was weird because I was like, oh, let me try and put the air con. It's a bit, no, I need it to be a bit chillier. Chillier. But that's that's a, not a word. I mean, that sounds like a word, though. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's, not like it's you're, definitely not a word. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not like you're combining like a completely made up word. It's a word that could exist and we've got the gist of it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel like everybody else understood what I meant. But Yeah, exactly. Well, I did, so that's why. KMFM. <laughs> we'll get back to chatting to Dua Lipa in a bit, but first let's have the song that started it all off for her on KMFM. This is Be The One. Dua Lipa, be the one on KMFM. You listen to Glenn Scott, Tuesday evening, 10 past 8. Expecting huge things from this lady in 2016. We caught up a few days ago, so let's hit play on part two of that chat. KMFM. For somebody who's listening now who's kind of new to the world of Dua Lipa, can we play a kind of get-to-know-you round of quick-fire questions, no thinking, just jumping straight in? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so the first album you ever bought. <laughs> Woe Nelly by Nelly Furtado. Most embarrassing moment you've had so far. There's been a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to tick one off. Um, I think it was when I was really young and my teacher got me to sing in front of the whole assembly and he got me to sing a really high note and my voice completely cracked and it was just like yeah that and everybody kind of laughed and <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing but I was also super young so it's still something that kind of haunts me it goes with you well now you can send like the, your latest single to the teacher who made you do it and then that's kind <laughs> of like a, well screw you <laughs> look exactly. what I've done now <laughs> uh, your favourite place in the world London last film that you saw I saw Love and Mercy the last song that you heard oh it was Genghis Khan by Mike Snow would you rather have one really long leg or one really long arm um, one really long arm <laughs> See, it's easier then because then you can reach stuff it's easier like it's re- <laughs> <laughs> still able to run. when you want to plug your phone charger on the other side of the bed exactly it's so easy or if you've ever left the remote on the other <laughs> side of the room and then everyone's like oh I don't want to get the remote but you're like don't worry I've got my really long arm and then you can reach over <laughs> exactly one million fans or one million pounds one million fans Kanye or Jay-Z Jay-Z 
Beyonce or Rihanna? That's a big one. Uh, if I said Jay-Z, I might as well go with his wife as well. That's Can't true. Part them. More, more of an opportunity of being yeah. invited to a dinner I'll party then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take Beyonce. Uh, the biggest guilty pleasure you have in terms of music? I don't know. I mean, I love Justin Bieber. But then who doesn't nowadays? But then it's not really a guilty pleasure. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> don't really know. We'll say old school Justin Bieber. So do you still kind of bop along to uh, yeah, Baby? Yeah, I love that. And I e- love Baby. And Sean Kingston, the uh, Eeny, Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Mo lover. Eeny, Miney, Miney, Mo lover. That, that is was my good. jam. Um, that was and good. finally, your weirdest habit or weirdest fear? Because if I was asked this question, I'd say I'm scared of pigeons because I'm terrified of pigeons. <laughs> but if you had like a weirdest habit or a weirdest fear, that's just an example. <laughs> You're scared of pigeons. Yeah, um, they're, t- they're just they're too they're too confident. That's um, like. <laughs> I feel like I'm really scared of bed bugs. Like I've never had them, no. but I feel like people. I don't know. There's been a lot of chat about bed bugs recently. But you laughed at me scary. when I said I was scared of pigeons. But bed bugs are a little bit less harmful than pigeons. See, pigeons are bigger. They've got more. <laughs> yeah, but bed bugs are like hard to get rid of once you have them. That's true, actually. Well, we're even. That's fine. I think, I think I'm okay with that one. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Well, thank you for speaking to me today. Thank you so much. That's right. And is there any chance finally you can introduce the track Last Dance here on KMFM, please? Hey, this is Dua Lipa, and you're listening to my new tune, Last Dance on KMFM. Fatal is the yeah, we might just end up crushing, but I'm ready if it happens with you.